Stadium in Kericho County. Are you? Thank you, Chemutai Goin, easing up and uh, the coping mechanisms to you and to Safina Chiengo. Many thanks for your assessment of the situation and laying an emphasis on the week-long preparation for what will be happening today with the president set to preside over the event and also the... All right, on your screens at the moment, the arrival of uh, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, Martha Kome, the vehicle aboard, she, uh, she is aboard at the moment, nearing the dais where she will be seated, along the other guests who are present. Among those who have arrived earlier include the Cabinet Secretary for Health, Susan Nahomicha, and other members of parliament, a whole host, actually, a lineup of MPs who are also present. Arriving at the moment is the, the Chief Justice Martha Kome, who will be part of uh, the dignitaries at uh, the dais for the event that is happening at the Kericho Green Stadium in the county of uh, Kericho. We'll be getting the arrivals of the other leaders as well. And as Chemutai Goyen explained of uh, the brief program that she shared with us that is expected uh, to be so compressed for the event to end on time in order to beat the unpredictability of uh, the weather and the climatic conditions in the county of uh, Kericho. The and shortly the CJ will be off the car uh, that uh, she is aboard number plated the Chief Justice and she will be uh, guided to the dais where she will be seated among the other guests who will be gracing the event today at the Green Stadium in Kericho County. Now, well, coming back to the studio and uh, to our team that had uh, provided us with the assessment of uh, the situation under uh, Safin Achieng Omar and Chemutai Gwain, many thanks for your assessments here. According to the Angolan Embassy, the President Joao Larenko will be among also the leaders that are set to grace the event today at the Green Stadium in Kericho. They must come to you and to Dr. Ali. A lot has transpired, and uh, this is just in summary of... Uh, the day that is themed around universal health coverage, I come to you first, Damian. I mean, this is a right and um, the constitution. H how important is this? It, will it be the cornerstone? Because earlier we had two attempts that had failed. Yes. And yesterday the head of state acknowledged the miserable failure. It, it, are the legal, is the legal anchorage that he signed into law yesterday going to be um, a bolstering process to that effect that will see Kenya to attain that status? And, and do you think this is certainly going to be the game changer? Um, thank you for that question. Um, observers uh, had uh, a few concerns about uh, these laws. Um, uh, one being that uh, they appear to have been uh, rushed through Parliament, meaning that it, uh, they did not really appreciate the public participation, the input of the people. Be that as it may, um, in, indeed, we have challenges within our healthcare system, and health is one of those universal rights. Uh, your physical, sexual, and reproductive, and mental health mm -hmm. must be uh, to a standard, uh, to the highest attainable standard. And this is a, a, a step in the right direction. Um, one other concern about um, this uh, these laws is it seems that uh, the national government has not properly uh, internalized the constitutional devolved functions. So healthcare is one of the devolved functions, uh -huh. um, especially primary healthcare. And uh, there have been concerns that there is lack of coordination between the county governments and the national government on who is doing what, which uh, occasions a lot of uh, duplication of roles and wastage of funds. That is uh, number one. Another issue about um, uh, uh, healthcare um, in the country is that we have, uh, there are concerns about how medical doctors, clinic, uh, clinicians,